Number 11 Loyola Hill pulled off the first upset of the 2018 NCAA tournament with a stunning win over No. 6 Miami while Gonzaga just barely stayed alive against UNC Greensboro. The Ramblers, in the NCAA tournament for the first time since 1985, got a last-second three-pointer from Dante Ingram to seal a 64-62 win. The refs put 0.3 seconds back on the clock, but Miami could not get anything done on the late heat. Ramblers with the last-second three, revolving light, revolving light, revolving light. The nature of Loyola's win was shocking but the upset itself has become common in March Madness. Over the past five NCAA tournaments, 11 seeds are 11-6 against six seeds. While Miami wasn't able to advance to the next round, Gonzaga was able to survive and advance with a 68-64 win over UNC Greensboro, however nothing came easy for the Bulldogs. The Spartans took a 64-62 lead with 146 left to play, but they weren't able to close out the game. Gonzaga's Jonathan Williams proved to be a key asset down the stretch finishing with a double-double with 19 points and 13 rebounds. Josh Perkins, 16 points, and Zach Norville, 15, also came up big making crucial shots near the end. Snowflake in his veins. Norville made the three-pointer that gave Gonzaga a 67-64 lead with 20 seconds left. Gonzaga will play Saturday against number 5 seed Ohio State. Instead of the day NC. State senior guard Alaric Freeman led the Wolfpack with 36 points on 12 of 19 shooting from the field. He was also 6 of 8 from 3-point range and 6 of 7 from the free-throw line, although it wasn't enough to give NC State the win as the team fell 94-83 against Seton Hall. Sophomore point guard Devontae Graham led Kansas to a 76-60 win over the University of Pennsylvania with 29 points. He was on the court for 39 minutes and was near-perfect shooting 8 of 9 from the free-throw line. Dud of the day Miami was knocked out of the tournament early and junior guard Anthony Lawrence too wasn't there to help out the Hurricanes. He'd have three rebounds and one assist, but he only contributed four points into the 64-62 loss. Highlight Tennessee forward Admiral Schofield made his presence felt, nastiness, hammer biceps. 3 Tennessee to a 73-47 win over No. 14 Wright State, what's next Alabama, 19-15, versus Virginia Tech, 21-11, 9.40 p.m. E.T., these two teams may not be at the top of the East region of the bracket, but no. 8 Virginia Tech and number 9 Alabama will be a matchup that likely comes down to the buzzer. Alabama has one of the strongest players in the tournament in Colin Sexton, who appears to be a promising NBA prospect.